Happy Wednesday. Okay, for this week's golden nugget, I'm going to share three of my very favorite time tech hacks. So these are a few different tech things I do behind the scenes that save me and the team so much time and frustration. So I think you'll be really excited. Okay, so the first is if you're using Zoom, which I'm pretty sure everybody and their mom is using Zoom right now, right? Who's raise your hand if you're Zoomed out? I am Zoomed out. Um, anyway, so if you connect Zoom and Otter.ai, which is hands down one of my favorite, favorite pieces of technology because it uh, is a transcription service, but you can connect them and then any recorded Zoom that you have is automatically transcribed which is flipping amazing because how often you're like, what did they say? And instead of having to watch the entire video, you can just scroll through uh, the transcription. You can export it um, with speakers, with timestamps as just text file. Seriously changed my life. So that one is my favorite. Number one, number two, Calendly. So there's a lot of schedulers out there. Personally, I'm an OG Calendly user. I love it. It also has a Zoom integration if you want, so that if somebody books a um, meeting with you, it can generate its own um, Zoom room. Awesome. It also um, links up with a couple other places. You can even take payments on it. Personally, I love it for, um, I do coffee and catches catch ups because I miss people. <laughs> and also I love hearing what's going on in my friends' lives. And sometimes it, it sucks because you're like, well, I have this day or this day or this day. Anyway, so I just created a personal coffee and catch up link that I can send to everyone. Makes it super easy. Um, I'm an OG, so I don't know if the pricing plans have changed, but it's super reasonable. I pay 10 bucks a month. I have unlimited events. Um, I create them specifically for each thing, so I know what it's about. Um, yeah, and they're always updating, which is very exciting. I actually got, um, I think this is rolled out to everybody, but I'm, I do some uh, beta testing for them, for their, their research board, but um, now the rolling days are business days instead of including weekends. So that's a new thing that I'm really excited about. Okay, third, Zapier. So Zapier is like, I don't know, the Brazilian restaurant of apps. <laughs> it's like, choose your own adventure. Um, I have Zapier. Um, Zapier connected to my G Suite inbox um, and Streak. Actually, oh, I should I should mention Streak. Streak is my favorite CRM. You can customize it. I created a pipeline when I was doing hiring that made it so easy for um, candidate um, measurement. That's not the right word. Management. There we go. Candidate management. Very easy. Um, I have one for, you know, um, personal, like, so I don't have things falling through the cracks. And then of course, uh, for business to keep track of, of consultations and such. But, um, I use Zapier because when somebody books a Calendly consultation with me, I want it to create a box so I can keep track of it. And instead of me having to manually go in, create the box, add all the information, Zapier just sends the information there. It's automatically created in the right, um, progress stage. Literally, I think this has probably saved us. I don't know, at least $10, $10, no, 10 hours a week. Super, super love it. I also use it with, um, like we have a Chrome job that runs from our e -com website, um, which is a different business. It sends out an automated email about how many open orders there are to the customer service team. Um, I've used it with, um, God, so many things. I just, I can't currently think of, oh, I have stuff add, like, um, stuff add to our email list, adding tags. Like, it's so useful. Um, bonus, I'll add Typeform. I'm an OG Typeform user as well. But that's my favorite way to collect responses. It's really user-friendly. And bonus, here's my favorite part. You can do logic jump. So that if like, let's say you only work with a certain type of client or um, like they have to be at a certain level, you can do what I call honeypot questions, 
where if they answer in um, a way that doesn't fit your business, then they actually get a different thank you page that says, you know, I'm sorry, we don't work with early stage businesses or whatever you want to say. Um, but it's super customizable. They now are in beta for quiz for quizzes. I'm testing it out now. I don't think it's live for everyone, but it's very exciting for you to everybody. Quizzes are the things. Just look at BuzzFeed. <laughs> um, so Typeform is my other. And then actually two other fun bonus ones I'll give you. Uh, Zoom has a G Suite. Um, if you're not using G Suite, get the F off Outlook or <laughs> Office 365. G Suite's where it's at. I am biased though. Um, but they have a Zoom add-on. So now in the calendar, you know, previously we had to go into, into Zoom, create a link, copy it over, blah, blah, blah. Um, now you can just create it um, in your calendar natively, which is awesome. And then this last one came actually from Tim Francis, my dear friend. Um, I have a link, um, and this goes into like certain things. It's, um, it's just Zoom with Lauren. Um, and so every, everyone I've told has like gone out and gotten the website, um, zoom with your name. Um, and they just, it's so much easier, right? If you don't want to, you don't want to create a room and just say, Hey, meet me here. And we forward it to our, um, like your specific meeting room. Of course, ours has a wait, a waiting room on it. So even if you have that URL, you can't get in <laughs> unless I, I, um, let you in, but those, I know I talked really fast, but those are my favorite time-saving things because honestly, the more leverage and the more um, consistency, but also just like taking out the manual steps, like so much, so much um, more fun. And I don't know, you can go do other things. So those are the, the tech things I have for you. This is completely unrelated, but I'm addicted to these guys. So... If you don't know what this is, I'm going to explain <laughs> because I'm telling everyone. And so now, now you're being told. Bamba is um, an Israeli snack. So I, I, used, I discovered these in Israel. The best way I can explain this is this is like a Cheeto, but instead of a cheesy Cheeto, this is a peanut butter Cheeto. So it's like peanut butter air. It's amazing. I don't know if I did that justice, but if you love Bamba as much as I do, <laughs> comment below. Um, and if you're watching the replay, I'd love to hear if you guys are using any of the things that I listed, which I will edit the post to include links so you can check it out. But Streak, Calendly, Zoom, of course, I feel like everybody's using that. Otter, Zapier, Typeform, I think it's a Zapier twice. Um, and if you've ever heard um, of, you know, the G Suite add-on or the Zoom with your name redirect. Let me know. Let me know what your favorite comment was. Um, and yeah, I hope this was helpful and saves you many, many hours of frustrating manual labor. All right. See you guys next week.